fans of high quality entertainment. Uh, this is sort of similar to when I do two stacks of CDs. Uh, 12 CDs in each stack and then you choose which stack you want. But this is a little different. And so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm interested to see your comments below on your 15 choices. Now, the scenario is you are going to jail for the rest of your life. That's right. And you have to quickly grab 15 of your favorite CDs. You can't, you know, take your time. You just have to grab them and take them. You can't overthink. You can't, you can't take your time thinking about it. What 15 CDs would you take? What I did last night was uh, I just thought, okay, 15 CDs that I would need <laughs> for the rest of my life. And I just quickly wrote them down. Of course, I'm missing some. Uh, one of them was Van, uh, Van Halen. Van Morrison's Astral Weeks, I would miss. Uh, Blind Faith, the debut album, the only album by Blind Faith. But I'm still happy with the 15 CDs that I decided on. And also, the other thing is you can't have more than one CD per artist. For instance, you can have a Paul McCartney CD and you can have a Beatles CD, but that's it. And, uh, or, you know, George Harrison CD, whatever. And you can have as many double albums if you, as, you, as you like. I've got, I think, two or three of them. But the thing is, you're going to be missing out on some great single discs. But, you know, you could take 15 double albums with you. But, uh, so the thing is to just quickly you know, without overthinking, just write down 15 CDs, classic rock CDs, that you would need for the rest of your life. One artist only, though. Which makes it a bit more difficult. Because otherwise, I'd have three Nickelback CDs instead of one. It's a joke. And these aren't in any order. They're just the 15 that I came up with that uh, I never get... The thing I realized was these aren't necessarily my top 15 CDs of all time. They are just 15 CDs that uh, some of them have been in my life since I was <laughs> since I was like 10 years old or younger. And I never get the important thing is I never get tired of hearing them. So when I'm in jail, any of these CDs I could play and play and play. So first up is, and this is, you know, from a childhood memory, one of the very first albums that was mine, that I owned on vinyl. It's Credence Clearwater Revival, Bio Country. And I'm actually doing next, I'm ranking and reviewing CCR, and this is the next one I'm ranking and reviewing. And this isn't necessarily going to be at number one in the rankings. But, you know, if I can only listen to one CCR album for the rest of my life, I would probably choose this one. Uh, Keep on Chuglin, <laughs> one of my all-time favorite songs. And I won't say much more because I want to leave that for the review. But first CD, CCR, Bio Country. And as I did mention, I'm doing the, the series on CCR, I still cannot find my... Uh, Mardi Gras CD, which I do have. And I might have to actually order it again because I, I want it for, you know, I want to actually have the physical copy of the CD when I do the review. So I've looked everywhere. I even went up on the roof. It wasn't there. Next up is a double album. No surprise, really, but I could have chosen... Yeah, there's... Probably three or four I could have chosen, but I chose this one. If I'm only having one by this band. The Beatles' White Album. It's double the Beatles. And once again, I never get tired of hearing this. And so, I'll look forward to hearing this in jail for the rest of my life. Have to have Led Zeppelin when you're in jail. 
And so I chose the double elbow, physical graffiti, which is my favorite uh, Led Zeppelin elbow. Now this one doesn't have a cover because it's from the box set, but I can only I can't take the box set. There's no box set sets allowed, and no triple CD albums either, just singles or doubles. Those are the rules. <laughs> but I would definitely take, well it was between two, it was between Paul McCartney's Chaos and Creation and the Backyard, but I would take Ram with me. I need a, a change of pace in jail just from the typical classic rock with some you know, instrumental music and whatever, and kind of a jazzy rock. And there's, there's a few to choose from, but I chose Frank Zappa's Hot Rats with Captain Beefheart on one track. Never get tired of hearing this. Now, I've talked about this el album a lot, and... Uh, it's his second solo album, and I know that uh, somebody that watches my channel uh, in, a, in a recent live chat, he said he bought it and he preferred the, uh, his debut album. But the thing is, just give it some time, you might enjoy it more than you do now. And I, I still play this almost every night, and the last four songs, especially, just really get to me. It's one of my all-time favorite uh, albums. John Anderson from Yes, Song of Seven. And yeah, the, the last four songs, Everybody Loves You, Take Your Time, Days, and Song of Seven. They're just uh, four of my all-time favorite songs. Speaking of Yes, I had to choose a Yes album. And I chose the double, Tales from Topographic Oceans, which took me a few years to really appreciate, but I've loved this for the last five years or so, a lot. It might not be, uh, you know, for my favorite. Uh, going for the one is, is up there because it has Awaken. I would miss Awaken, but this is a fun listen. I need the, the grimier, grittier side of rock when I'm in jail. Because that's the way I will feel when I'm in jail. <laughs> and I chose The Velvet Underground. Now most of you would probably choose their debut album, which is fine. But I would go with White Light, White Heat. It'd be fun to, to just blast Sister Ray in jail and annoy all of the other criminals. I need my sparks in jail, and I chose my, my probably my favorite album of theirs. And it's my favorite because uh, 15 songs, and it's just the, the variety of the album. It, it, they do hard rock, they do pop, they do... Uh, uh, string quartet song, a bluesy kind of song called T-I-T-S. <clears throat> and uh, probably my fa favorite album for Ron Mayle's lyrics and Russell Mayle's vocals. And that's saying a lot. Indiscreet, produced by Tony Visconti. 1975. I want to rock when I'm in jail, and I chose probably my all-time favorite live album. Guess what it's called? That's right, Grand Funk Live Album. This was also one of my, my earliest uh, albums that I ever owned on vinyl back in the day. So that's a double, double album or double CD in jail. Now, when I'm in jail, there's going to be a lot of times when I'm lonely and I'll need some 
spiritual guidance, either from above, or I'll just play Johnny Cash. <laughs> American Recordings, Volume 4, The Man Comes Around. This whole album, this is the one that features Heard, of course, but this whole album, every time I hear it, I get teary-eyed and I cry. I cry like a baby. Bridge Over Troubled Water, Hurt, Give My Love to Rose, uh, First Time Ever I Saw Your Face in My Life. I'm so lonely I could cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be playing that a lot in jail. As some of you know, I'm a huge fan of not just the Velvet Underground, but Lou Reed's solo career. And uh, I, th I think for most Lou Reed fans, if they chose one CD to take with them, they wouldn't choose this one. It's not one of his most popular ones, but it's one of my personal favorites. It might not be number one in my, I forget what was number one in my rankings when I ranked all of the Lou Reed albums, but for, for something to play over and over and over for the rest of your life, I chose The Bells. I absolutely love Side One and, the, and Side Two with All Through the Night, Families and The Bells. I don't love as much as Side One, and so I'm still kind of getting used to enjoying side two, which I do enjoy, but I'm, I think I could enjoy it even more in time. I'm missing Van Morrison, but I'm not missing David Bowie, and there's quite a few albums of his I could choose from, and I chose Black Star. I'm going to be doing a lot of crying in jail. And one of my all-time favorite bands, I've been a fan of theirs since 1975. So many great albums, and I could have actually chosen their live album, The Double, On Your Feet or On Your Knees, but I chose their very first album, their debut album, which I never, ever, ever get tired of hearing. Blue Oyster Cult. Cities on flame with rock and roll. Thank you. And finally, one last one. You need some craziness in jail because you're going to go crazy. You're in there for the rest of your life. So you might as well bring a Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band CD. And I chose my favorite. Shiny Beast, Back Chain Puller. Just, uh, you know, there's other albums of his I love just as much, or almost just as much, I guess. But this one, The Floppy Boot Stomp, Tropical Hot Dog Night, uh, Harry Irene, You Know You're a Man, which is one of my all-time favorite songs. And uh, just brilliant and crazy and excellent musicianship. So that would be my choice for number 15. So that's it. I would love your thoughts in the comment section below. List your 15 albums. Remember, it can only be one per artist and uh, as many double albums if, as you like. And don't forget, I have a live chat today. If you're watching this on April 17th, 2021 at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're watching this in 2022, then I did the live chat one year ago, and you missed it. Thanks for watching.